Well, today's finally here. First light with the new Celestron 11 inch XLT big old, big old, big old telescope. I've already done a rough solar system align and polar alignment, and I got it on the moon so I could align the finder scope. So I put the SCT Crayford focuser on. I have the finder scope aligned with the telescope and I have the Celestron NEXYZ camera adapter on with a AstroTech 35mm ultra wide which is giving me 80 times magnification on the moon right now which you'll see on the screen. With this adapter you put your phone on here you can do live streams, you can do uh, pictures like that. I mean hell you can really even do planetary photography with a video uh, using Filmic Pro. But that's another video. We'll get to that on another day. You like my brace? That's pretty cool, huh? So anyway, later on when it gets darker, I will be doing the initial collimation so I can make sure everything's in working order. And then we're going to be shooting some planets. So stay tuned. Okay, so I lied. I'm not going to do any collimation. You know why? Because this thing is amazing right out of the box. I don't know if you're able to see that or not, but you have a clear Cassini division. I could even make out the lighter band in the North Pole. I mean, this thing is awesome. So right now, I need to go to Jupiter before it gets over the house because you don't want those uh, heat waves radiating off the roof over it. So we're going to go ahead and go to Jupiter now, but it's going to do a flip. This will be the first flip with this setup, so I gotta make sure my cords don't get tangled up or anything. So Jupiter is above the house right now, and the residual heat from the day is radiating off of the roof, and I think that's probably why we're getting the wavy seeing we didn't get on Saturn because Saturn wasn't over the house when we were shooting it. But at these ridiculously high magnifications, you got to take all that into consideration. Scope is awesome. I didn't collimate the scope. I just used the stock collimation. Whenever I had the planetary camera on the moon and I was just scrolling across it, it looks like the stock footage of the Apollo missions where they're flying the capsule over the lunar landscape. It just looks like you're flying right above the surface. It's crazy. I really want to stay out and shoot Venus, but I don't know, my wife has planned for me tomorrow, and I don't want to be asleep all day, so I guess I will uh, probably pack it in for the night. I have plenty of stuff to work on anyway, and tomorrow is also another night. So, first light was an amazing success. This is the first, first light that I've had with a scope, hell, I don't know, since I got the Dobsonian, so that's been five years. I feel like a little kid again to do all the new stuff. A little bit humid out here, so dew's a big problem. I don't know if you can see the scope or not, but if I, yeah, you see that. Yeah, so excited, good things. Anyway, Mars is off the screen. Uh, I'm gonna pack everything up, and until then, I'll see y'all later.